The collaboration between Empire 7 and Yahoo actually started 18 months ago, believe it or not. Yahoo was actually looking to work with a local arts organization as a part of their move here to San Jose. What's really exciting about this project is that we were able to work with designers, architects, and we were really part of the process. It wasn't an afterthought. The amount of artists that we were able to bring into this particular project were five artists. Rowan Victor, Ryan Bubnis, Jorge Camacho, Cameron, and Trav. Um, so our first meeting was about like, what they what their expectations are from us and what they envision our walls would look like. And for mine, they were just like, oh, we just want it to be like lush foliage. And I'm like, yes. The name of my mural is called Hello Iris. Irises are actually fairly small and I wanted to depict them in like a super grand manner where people walking by are just like, whoa, what is this? I was watching Space Jam in the original one. There's a scene at the end where Michael Jordan's arm stretches out as he's doing like a, a slam dunk. I thought about having a bunch of stretchy arms reaching for the hoop and each arm was holding something that represented both community, San Jose, and game of basketball. The floor came after I came up with the, the original wall. Something that came natural to me was just thinking about representing the area of Silicon Valley and I wanted to utilize like giant pixels and incorporate them into like the mural fading into the uh, ground. Doing the murals like this, it's always, it's like an endurance test. Like it's like you're working for like 12 hours a day or sometimes even longer. And you really push yourself like versus if you're working on a small painting. I did name the mural, I called it Quail Garden, and we're in California, so I wanted it to be um, just some references of some things um, known in California, like the California quail. At the core of my work, I always want it to be accessible, and I really love the language of visual art and painting especially. I love the idea that a viewer can come in or an employee and say, oh, I connect with the dog, or I connect with this certain part of the painting. I wanted to kind of embrace like past and present in terms of business. And so I like to make work that kind of pays homage to the kind of bygone era of retail. The layout of the space was exciting in the sense that it was a three-sided like building inside of a building. It seems like you're doing an outdoor mural, but it's indoor. And when I found out that it was for Yahoo, that does excite me because Yahoo is a pioneer in the in the tech space that that has been changing the landscapes. I started thinking about the things that speak to me in my city. I didn't want to do like a cliche skyline kind of thing representing San Francisco, but I wanted to dive deeper into the things that I see on a daily basis in my neighborhood on a walk. Without the arts and the conversations around the arts and the things that the arts can do, it will be a cultureless, stale environment. I think it's really invaluable that companies link up with organizations like Empire 7. I'm super happy with how the mural turned out. I, I really, really like it. I don't know if that's arrogant to say, but I do feel like it's in my some of my top paintings, so I'm pretty stoked about that. When you have an organization like Yahoo come in and decide to work with a small business like an Empire 7 or community organization like an SJ Walls, ultimately what you have is Yahoo investing directly in the creative economy and helping sustain it. And there's tremendous value in that. With the pandemic, I, I haven't been able to paint as many murals. A lot of us have been a little bit on hiatus with our careers. So it's been nice to come back and be able to get to do something at this scale. It's a good reminder of how much I love doing this work. One, two, three. Yahoo! <laughs>